Your friend, US Senator John McCain, has said on Twitter that you could follow the fate of Muammar Gaddafi. Do you think it's an idle threat or a real plan by the West? Well, calling him a friend is probably an exaggeration. Although I have met Mr. McCain, I think it was at that memorable Munich security conference four years ago. Yes, I've seen that statement. What can I say? First, his words weren't meant for me, but for all of Russia. Some countries would want Russia to step aside, to get out of the way, and stop interfering in the ruling of the world. They're still afraid of our nuclear potential. That's why Russia is always in the spotlight. That's why it's a pain in the neck for many. We have an independent foreign policy, and I hope it stays this way in the future. Of course, that's not very convenient for some people. Second, the West is not monolithic, and we do have more friends than enemies. Third, Mr. McCain is known to have fought in Vietnam. I believe he has enough civilian blood on his hands. Is it that he can't live without such horrible, disgusting sights as the butchering of Gaddafi? The whole world saw him being killed, all bloodied. Is that democracy? And who did it? Drones, including American ones, delivered a strike on his motorcade. Then commandos, who were not supposed to be there, brought in so-called opposition and militants, and killed him without trial. I'm not saying that Gaddafi didn't have to quit, but that should have been left up to the people of Libya to decide through the democratic process. It's a long and difficult way, but it's the only way to do it right. Mr. McCain was taken prisoner in Vietnam and was put not just in jail, but in a pit. He sat there for several years. Anyone would go nuts after that.